Hey everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today's is very special. It is not a gemstone. Although some people think it's like a semi-precious anyway. Mother of Pearl or Abalone. Um, here's the one I did a long time ago. And so this tutorial has been like a long time in coming. Um, so... I haven't done it in a long time, and that means I probably didn't do it with polychromos. So, I have pulled out all the ones that I have been thinking about, all the colors. And there are tons, because Abalone slash Mother Pearl has tons of fun colors in it, which I personally love. Okay, so... We have our lights, which are white and cream. If you don't have cream, um, like, you know, an off-white or a slightly yellowish white will do just fine. Um, pink is this one. And then for my greens, I have light green, which is the lightest green that I have. Um, some others, you know, other brands or whatnot will have other colors light green so I just have light green it's the lightest one that I have this one is cobalt green which is kind of an aqua color one of my favorite colors by the way um then I have two blues I have turquoise blue or bluish turquoise which is this one which is very much like an ocean type blue and then I have Prussian blue which is this one which is, which is a very dark blue. And of course I have black as well because we do have black lines in abalone. So, here we go. First thing is you wanna start out with some kind of a pattern. Um, it always helps to look at actual pictures of um, abalone if you want a pattern that's going to look like the actual shell. Um, personally, I'm just going to wing it because I know the general lines, like just wavy lines, will work just fine. Um, Apollonia also has is well known for like their little like eyelet kidney bean looking things. So we'll put one of those in here too. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm just kind of putting in these lines. And then we'll have a line going around it here. And this will turn this into like some kind of like really pretty pendant, I guess. Yeah. Let's go around here. Like that. And then we'll have one going like this. And I'm kind of echoing, but I also want each line to do its own thing. So I'm not copying each line to the next one, just getting smaller. I'm actually changing the lines each time so that it has personality. I guess we'll do another little loop up here let's leave that open what do you think maybe like one little line up here but yeah let's leave that open so that it kind of looks like another section of pattern up there now when you look at pictures of abalone your mother of pearl Basically, what you're seeing is the idea of a pattern of color, okay? And it's repeated over and over and over again, depending on what part of the shell you're looking at. So, the colors that I'm going to use are just kind of what I have in mind and what I've looked at. Obviously, you can change up how much you use those colors and how much you don't. So, my next is my Prussian blue, which is the darkest blue that I have that I'm using. I'm going to go along and blend it right onto 
I mean like right on top and right over the edge of the black and I want it to be on one side of the black not both sides so as you blend it on top of the black don't get it on both sides you want that black to be your defining factor for your because we're going to go up and do our pattern like that okay we're going to go right along here and just light touch and just get your color in there going to go up a little bit here you don't want to be completely um, you don't want the entire length of it to be completely the same width so bring your color up a bit more here down some here as long as there's color that's all you really want And just a light base because you want each of the colors to blend nicely into one another. So I'm just working these along. We're going to come back in and darken the black too. Like with another coat. So Just like that. Like I said, you can go right over the black. And it's just fine and then I think we'll put like a little bit in here and like maybe some over here and then don't forget our little part up here okay like that oh we probably need as well some gray or dark gray we might use black but we might use dark gray around here for our shading we'll see as we go totally forgot about that all right go to your next up blue mine is bluish turquoise you could use a lighter blue if you wanted to and um, this is just the one that i picked up because i liked it it's very very similar to the persian blue it's just a slightly lighter shade and i'm just going to put it in here in touches basically not going to go the full length of each one. Over here, I'm going to put it in right on top of my Persian blue. And get it right up there. looks pretty good okay now for our greens we're going to go in with our lightest green and then we'll go back down to um, our cobalt green actually hold on take either your white or your cream either one and what we want to do with these I'm gonna use white is go on the other side of your black and you're not gonna see it obviously if you're using white but this will help to give it that extra punch of light especially up here in this light corner that you're going to need to help give that reflective look in your um, shell so I'm just putting it up here because what this does is Help fills in a little bit of the tooth of the paper so that your colors when you do put them on here are going to appear much lighter because you've already filled up some of the tooth of the paper and I'm just doing little bits here and here on down here on the down here and then when it rises up like this I'm doing a little bit more which works just fine there okay now we're going to use our light green and just put in and if you go over it just like that real light keep your pressure even you'll see how as I go over this whole thing it's much more green down here than it is where we put the white on which is what we like which is what we want
just like that. I'm just putting in a single first coat of color. Um, if you have a blender pencil and you want to use that, you are more than welcome to use that. I don't really want to use one because um, I like the texture of it so far. Okay, now we're going to our cobalt green, which is an aqua green. We're going to blend in our light green with our blue over here. And this is our base colors, basically, for our shell. And just go along, keeping light pressure. And just circular motions to make sure that each blends into them, to the other. See how it's starting to come along now? Yeah. That's what we want. And then we're going to put some of this right down here. Now, depending on the shape of the shell and all that fun stuff, will depend on how much um, pink you actually see. Um, some, of her, some of them have like oranges and yellows up in there too. Um, what I'm going to do is just go in and put some of the pink here and there, um, just like little peekaboos basically. And not putting a lot, and you can bring it all the way down into the blues. You can go all the way up into the white and the lights. You can put it wherever you want. It really won't matter since it's just a peekaboo kind of color. I wouldn't do it real strongly anywhere unless, you know, you really, really want to. That's just my suggestion. But there we go like that. You can take your cream which I'm going to do, and do a little bit over it with a little bit of yellowish color that is in here. It's going to help turn this pink kind of a orangish type color. I really want some more pink in here. Like, I'm going to go kind of heavy in our circle right here, our kidney shape. really want some pink in there. Just like that. What do y'all think so far? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go back in here with my bluish turquoise. Try and get some more gradation going here. Kind of deepen our color. And then we're gonna go in and grab our gray in just a second. I would suggest a cold gray if you have the difference between cold grays and warm grays. Um, if not, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. You could also use purples in here with the um, dark blues. Um, I know that some shells have some purples going on in there. So you could do that or you could actually use your pink and go over with the blue because that will make some kind of purplish as well all right I'm gonna go darken up some of this black and try and get it mixed into our blue here I don't want to go too dark with it everywhere, 
like too wide with it everywhere. But I do want to get it more defined in some of these places. Because that stark contrast is kind of like what you're looking for there. And also with abalone, you've got that nice crisp line on the bottom. How's that looking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the way it looks. Like that? Yeah, I think that's pretty. Alright, so. I definitely want some more green in here. That's what I think I'm seeing. I'm just going to scribble green. Like over here. This is my light green. And then I'm going to grab my cobalt green. And bring it up much further in some places, not as far in other places. just to give it a more natural feel of the shell. I'm going over this entire thing, kind of helping to smooth it out. Same over here. Let's grab our gray. I have cold gray. That's the one that I generally use for shadows and stuff. I'm just going to go a little bit around the edges. Kind of help push the edges down. Make it look more like it's set in our little pendant here. Edges, no matter what you're doing, are still important. I'm just shading away, shading away, dropping that edge down into our pendant. Even up here, because you're going to have that lip giving you just a little bit of shadow for it. Um, if you wanted to use the black for a darker shadow, you could. I don't know that I'm going to. I kind of like this gentler look on here. And the shell itself is not nearly as 3D as a gem or anything else. So I'm not going to put that super dark shadow on there. But... I really like how this is looking. You can come in here and smooth this out too. Give it some kind of shadow right in here. Grays are great for just blending colors as well as light. Um, if you're wanting just a blending pencil, it will dull a little bit of the color. But you could use white, you could use gray, you can use all kinds of stuff. Just any lighter colors generally will give you a really great um, blender if you're just going over stuff. Well, what do you guys think of that? I, th I think I like that. I think I'm going to brighten a little bit of these pinks. And then we are done. Like, done, done. I hope you have enjoyed and uh, I hope you try this and show me 
and tag me. And if you're in Gem House, my group, I totally want to see this. Take your time, go slow with it. Change up your colors if you want, but I want to see yours. So show it to me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.